It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 15, 2020 John 14 verses 16 to 18 Verse 16 And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another Comforter, that he may abide with you forever. 17 Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. 18. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Quotation from The Spirit of Prophecy Christ has promised the gift of the Holy Spirit to his church, and the promise belongs to us as much as to the first disciples. But like every other promise, it is given on conditions. There are many who believe and profess to claim the Lord's promise, they talk about Christ and about the Holy Spirit, yet receive no benefit. They do not surrender the soul to be guided and controlled by the divine agencies. We cannot use the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is to use us. Through the Spirit God works in His people to will and to do of His good pleasure. Philippians 2 verse 13 but many will not submit to this. They want to manage themselves. This is why they do not receive the heavenly gift. Only to those who wait humbly upon God, who watch for his guidance and grace, is the Spirit given. The power of God awaits their demand and reception. This promised blessing, claimed by faith, brings all other blessings in its train. It is given according to the riches of the grace of Christ, and he is ready to supply every soul according to the capacity to receive. By Ellen G. White, Desire of Ages, page 672. Our prayer for you today. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, once again, as we usually do, Approach your holy presence, who is the only one who is good, with ultimate awe and reverence. Today, we pray that you will give us the willingness to accept the Holy Spirit with humility to dwell in all of us. Thank you Father for answering our prayer because we ask you in the holy name of Jesus Christ your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ.